Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today we're going to be diving into, if you will, the uh, new and improved Spinnaker Bradner. The Bradner is a model that I did cover, oh, it's probably less than a year ago at this point, uh, and they recently uh, re-released it, uh, updated with a new part number, and there's, it's mostly the same, as I usually like to say, like from five feet away, it's pretty much the same watch, but then when you dive into the details, you'll see there's about four Four, four significant improvements that's uh, worthy of note. Uh, so what I did is I have three of the new Bradners here. Uh, these, these all three of these are, excuse me, are in the store now. And I also have one straggler of the older style that I'll bring up uh, just to compare and contrast. Uh, but I'm going to start with this guy blue dial on the tan leather strap because i think it's just a combination that works so well so the bradner is a 42 millimeter case it is 14 millimeters thick to a nice sapphire crystal it is 50 millimeters uh, lug tip to lug tip it is a 20 millimeter lug uh, the water resistance here's upgrade number one the water resistance has changed from 150 meters in the old one to 180 meters on the updated one so you know is it really going to be a big deal for you probably not but what does it mean well it means i guess that it's a little more robust than the older version as far as the seal the sealing of uh the the crowns and stuff which we'll get into in a second it is powered by the seiko nh35 which is basically their unbranded 4r35 movement which is a hand winding screw down crown so you have to unscrew it. It is a hand winding and hacking movement. So I'm winding it. I pull out the crown at the time. The second hand stops. I can change the time. Uh, and I can also change the date with one click out. And it has about a 40 hour power reserve. Uh, let's see. Improvement number two has an internal rotating bezel as you can see. This bezel is underneath the sapphire. Now I'll zoom in in a bit and you can check everything out. Turning the bezel is extremely smooth, much better than the older one. And I guess that's really a feel thing, but I'll tell you, it just feels so much better than the other one. Uh, improvement number three is better loom, which I can show you quantitatively when we do a loom shot. Uh, and the last improvement is the addition, as you can see, as I tilt, tilt the watch. The sapphire crystal is treated with anti-reflective coating, so you see a little bit of a blue tinge. Uh, so it will, you know, look better, look clearer in uh, in bright lights. So like I said, so there's three versions. I have the blue on the tan leather or brown leather. I have a black on green leather. By the way, they all come in very nice buckles, and also, also obviously, and very nice straps. And the blue on black leather. Those are the three that I've brought here today for you. I guess though, before we dive into those, you know, a little bit deeper, check out the dial. Look at the uh, rotating bezel. The use of texture looks so nice. The effect that it gives, how everything is raised. It's beautiful, it really is. It's a very striking watch. The color of blue is really nice. So. Again, really quick, I will show you the other blue dial on the black strap. The same watch, different strap. And then I've got the, the black dial with the green strap. Really nice looking. Love the hands. They're so unique. They're different. Unlike anything that's out there, you know, you know, other watches. The whole watch pretty much is, is fairly unique, I would say, in a, in a sea of dive watches that all kind of look the same. So what I did, as I said, is I do have the older version here. These, are, um, these three are SP5062s. This is an uh, SP5057. I only have a couple of these left, and then they'll be gone. I, uh, obviously, they're not making these anymore because they have the new and improved version. But just so you can see, obviously, this is a PVD case. Disregard that portion. That has nothing to do with this. Look at the anti-reflective crystal. See, bluish on the right, non-bluish on the left. And both are sapphire, but we've got AR. Uh, water resistance, this one's 150. Uh, you can see it there on the dial, I think. This one's 180. 
so the bezel. I know you can't feel it, but actually, maybe you can actually see it. And I'm not exaggerating it. My glove is slipping a bit because it's a little, little difficult to rotate. Whereas on this one, it's buttery smooth. But because it's a crown, you're not going to inadvertently turn it. You know, it's not an external bezel. So it would take a, a decent amount. You do have to knock it against something to change it from uh, your zero mark. And the last one I wanted to show you was Loom. So I'll bring up my blue friend again. We'll leave them both here for a second. We'll get out of the, well, I'll leave the lights on them, I guess. I'll flip out the lights and you'll see them side by side. Remember, new one on the right, old one on the left. Again, guys, there's nothing going on here. I No tricking. I just literally turned out the lights and just changed the exposure a bit on the camera to highlight uh, the, color, the, um, the luminosity. But you can see the old one on the left. It was, very, it was still readable, but look at the new one on the right. I mean, look at the difference in legibility and readability. Quite a difference. Okay, so enough of the old, back into the new. So with these four great improvements, you may be asking yourself, what am I going to pay for these improvements? Well, <laughs> to be honest, uh, the retail price is the same as the old one. They're still going out at $285. Uh, you know, uh, the, I've marked these down now just simply to get rid of them. Uh, nothing wrong with the watch, just you know, kind of discontinued, so you know, no need for it to sit on the shelf. Uh, but the MSRP of 285 still sticks uh, from uh, from those from the older models to these models. Uh, let's try this one on, and then we'll be done. So there's the Bradner on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Uh, you can see where I'd be on the strap. I'd be about there. So it goes down to probably a six and a quarter or so, uh, and obviously plenty of room to go on the upside, below the bone, above the bone. I wear watches 50 on the tip to tip. Not a problem looks great i love in case you don't know obviously i love blue but i love the play of tan against blue i just think it i don't know it looks so much nicer i mean these are the same color blue but i just think the tan sets off the uh, brightness of the blue color better this has been mark from longhourwatch.com showing you the new and improved spinnaker bradner please like the video if you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so uh, follow me on Instagram. Lots of good stuff on there. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.